if we go back to November of 1986, sorry, when he beat Trevor Burbick in two rounds to become the WBC heavyweight champion of the world. A lot of people can talk about Mike Tyson. Well, uh, Mike Tyson wasn't really that great. Mike Tyson was all I want people to realize this. When you were 20 years old, what were you doing? When you were 20 years old, at 20 years old, you can't even urinate straight, right? <laughs> right, I just want you to realize this, right? And Mike Tyson at age 20, this is spookily scary, knocked out Trevor Burbeck to claim the WBC heavyweight championship of the world. And Trevor Burbeck wasn't long. Trevor Burbeck had been in with good guys, been in with Larry Holmes, who's an all time great, most probably one of the greatest heavyweights of all time. Beat Pinkland Thomas, who had one of the best jabs I have seen in heavyweight boxing since the great Sonny Liston, right? And he walked through Trevor Burbick like a hot knife through butter, butter. <laughs> at 20. Realize that. That's the thing that makes Mike Tyson so great. Mm -hmm. Forget about everything else that he did. Not only that, but he could intimidate everybody. Everyone's trying to fight him. Mm -hmm. Right? Forget about all of that. But Mike, that's what made Mike Tyson great because at 20, what discipline was instilled in that young man from Custom all, right? To say, right. I want to go, I want this, I want this tunnel vision, focus and discipline. And for that, I give Mike Tyson all the credit in the world. I don't care anything else that he did. I'm saying you became the youngest man ever to win the world heavyweight championship. And then you went on to become undisputed champion as well. Mm. You beat good men in Tony Tucker. You beat good men in Bone Crusher Smith. You beat good men in, in, in Tony, Tony T and T Tubbs. You fought good men, right? We would say, oh, but they weren't great. No, but they were good men. Mm -hmm. And technically, their head and shoulders, a lot of those guys, their head and shoulders technically above the heavyweights that we've got today. Even though heavyweight boxing changed now, right, Usyk is a different kind of monster, right? <laughs> but I'm saying to you, it's, but it is what it is. Mike Tyson, an all-time great man. He's one of my favorite boxers ever, you know? Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> He's just, uh, he's, just he's, he's, he's just, he's, he's, he's just, I want to be like, I'm Mike Titan, you know, I'm the best ever. Like he was just so entertaining inside and outside of the ring. And the thing is, he just didn't give a shit. He was just him all the time. He just said what he wanted to. Boom. Well, he didn't originally start off like that. No. Well, if you look at Mike Tyson, Mike Tyson's story, like when he was up in Catskills, when he was, when he was being trained, when he was being trained or mentored, right, by the late, great Custom Auto, Mike Tyson wasn't filmed as this bad boy to say what you want. He was very, very respectful. You'd watch all his, because uh, back then, like, 86, you'd wake up early in the morning and you'd get the reruns that we on ITV and you'd, you'd, you'd watch Mike Tyson. And I really liked Mike Tyson then. 